Hello. We are live uh, with our new YouTube live series. Uh, so happy to have you guys here with us. Thanks for joining. Today we're going to talk about glitch filters. So let's get right into it. I'm not even going to waste any time. We don't have Vivi today, which is super weird. Um, it's just me and uh, my trusty assistant over here, uh, Amber, who is going to be in front of the camera doing all the samples with me. If you own one of our photo booths, uh, Amber has probably put her hand in the guts of it because she's the uh, head of our products division. Uh, she helps build the infinites and the ventures and all that stuff. So super happy to have her here for a few minutes while we go over how to make glitch filters. So uh, it's, for those of you who don't know, uh, glitch filters are making a VHS scan line uh, distortion that happens sometimes when you have damaged VHS tape. Um, it happens uh, where the the scan the uh, the scan lines are out of place. Um, it makes color channels kind of get out of alignment, and it creates a really fun, cool retro effect. Or it can also make kind of like a horror film effect, as you'll see later as well. So I've made a PBU uh, for you to use while uh, we do this today. So if you go to LA, oh nope. Uh, if you go to lafotoparty.com forward slash gif, uh, sorry, someone else here is trying to run the thing here. Go to lafotoparty.com forward slash glitch. You will be able to download the graphics for today's a tutorial. It's, not, it's, a, it's a tutorial. It's an inform, informative section. We're going to do it together. It's going to be collaborative. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to switch over to the PBU. Um, I'll be here in the corner though, so you can just still see my face as we do this. Um, I've made a couple different types of graphics to use with our glitch filter today. Uh, if we go into the settings by hitting S for settings, I'll try to make that disappear. S for settings will take us to the settings screen here in our screen. And uh, glitch filter works with our, our uh, GIF feature in PBU. Basically, you can load in all your graphics here. I've loaded in three, kind of like an 80s space one, because I kind of felt like it fit really well with the uh, the 80s vibe. Uh, more of a horror film effect as well. And then our basic glitch, uh, uh, just a very simple design, so we can kind of see what the effects of glitch is in PBU. Um, so you will go through the process of making a burst GIF, which if you don't know how to do, we can show you how to do in a different tutorial, or you can go to support.lafotoparty.com and we'll walk you through the steps of building a burst GIF. But I've already built my burst GIF here, and if you have the PBU, you have this too. Um, what we're gonna enable though, to uh, make sure that our GIF is, or glitch is working, is the temporal filter in the bottom left here. And we're gonna make sure it's set to glitch. You can also combine this with other filters. So you can have like black and white, or you could do enhance or do a brightness contrast saturation adjustment. Um, we're gonna do black and white so that we can really see the effect of the glitch play out. Um, okay. To adjust the glitch features, we're gonna go over to the filters tab, at the top here, click filters, and glitch is the very last one here on the list of, uh, of all these filters here. We'll select glitch, and then you'll see uh, some settings that we can play around with. So the first uh, set of settings are the offset, the color offsets. Color offsets are mimicking the displacement of color channels in the glitch. So a color channel is often in most traditional glitches uh, RGB, because that's when you're looking at like a VHS tape, RGB is what is made in, part of the television pixels and all that stuff. David would probably be able to explain this better than I could. But uh, uh, basically, um, when those get uh, misaligned, it shows um, like the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel separately. And in PBU here, we can offset those manually. 
Um, so for instance, you can set them by milliseconds. So time or frames. I prefer to do frames because it's a little bit easier for me to manipulate. Um, and I know how many frames are in my GIF. Um, and typically I like to keep them evenly spaced. Um, I prefer to do at least three. If you do, if you do them too close, it creates a really, um, they, they're just too close together for my taste. So I set mine here for three, six, and nine frames. So uh, the first color will trail by three frames. The second color will trail by six frames. And the third color will trail by nine frames. Then to the right, we can set those colors. Um, again, I already have the RGB colors kind of set here. So our first color is that red, second color is green, and the third color is that bright blue. Um, so that's the RGB settings. Then we have glitch probability. This is where it gets really fun and uh, stylized with the glitch. So we have three different types of, pro of glitch probabilities is what we call them. Each of them does a different kind of distortion. So uh, glitch one does a form of horizontal distortion that displaces a uh, uh, a horizontal section of the frame and it offsets it. And the percentage here is the probability of how often that will happen in your GIF. It's completely random. They randomize it in the software. So that means that every sample you make is unique, which is really cool. Um, the second glitch also does that kind of horizontal displacement, but instead of it just kind of uh, displacing a block of the frame, it also adds a little bit more of a uh, waved distortion. So um, you'll notice that uh, there's like a jaggedness to the glitch. And then the third glitch uh, doesn't like divides the frame in half and shifts the entire frame over. So you'll notice that like sometimes the, uh, the frame of the guest will shift all the way across the screen and creates a really fun dynamic uh, effect. Now, I wouldn't recommend pumping these all to 100% because you'll have the most chaotic glitch ever. And it'll be kind of like uh, watching an old VHS tape that uh, has been sitting in the attic for too long and has water damage. Uh, so I, I like to be a little conservative with these, but let's test them out. So right now we're gonna have our first glitch, that horizontal one set for 10% second glitch for 15 percent and let's set that third glitch for 20 percent that might be a lot but this will give us a, a basic idea and we'll hit okay and we'll go to animate here and just so we can all see the basic effect i'm going to use the glitch test one that i've made here hit accept and then we're going to make a sample so you ready amber here we go three two, one. All right. Look at that. Okay, great. So it's going to, you can see it already applied our black and white filter to the guest. And now it's just loading in the glitch right now. And once that's done, we'll be able to see the final sample here. So yeah, we're getting a minor, mild amount of distortion. You'll see like that. there's those jagged lines coming in here. There's also just the horizontal displacement. And of course we see the evenly spaced color trails of the RGB. Um, the other cool thing is if you look at the uh, overlay here, you're also seeing the movement on the overlay that I created also having this uh, color displacement and also being affected by the glitch, uh, which is really cool. And I, add, I often recommend people uh, add a little bit of motion to their graphics like that because it, it makes for a very fun glitch effect. Um, you can also, with these uh, colors, combine them. So for instance, if we put the uh, green and blue together, so if I put them both at six and then maybe put this uh, uh, color one at zero, so there's no red. Uh, so we have color two and color three overlaying at the same time. It'll also uh, overlay these colors on top of each other. So you'll see that it combines both and creates uh, 
a lighter, uh, like kind of like a teal. So we're going to do a quick sample really quick. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. She's going to move around, do a little bit of dancing. I probably should have made these like a little bit shorter, but I didn't. Uh, so we're just going to sit through them. It's going to apply that glitch filter right now for us. And again, it's going to be completely randomized, which is really fun. So the probability of each type of uh, glitch is going to be different each time. There we go. Oh, I guess it did. I I must not have shot off the uh, the red filter like I thought I did. But you can see there's like a teal instead of that uh, green and blue. Those are blended now to create a different color. Um, let's look at um, photo. So you can also do like, for instance, if you wanted to take that same effect, but only instead of doing a burst gif, you wanted to do a photo, we could set it so the glitch, oh, sorry, the gif only takes one photo. So we'll use the frame from photo one and hit okay. And then we'll go to our filter here and set this back to three, six, nine. Perfect. And we're just going to take one photo here. Oh, whoops. I got to turn off first mode. Great. And we'll hit animate. And you'll notice on this as well, we're just going to take one picture, but it'll also have the glitch in it as well. So hit accept. Take a quick photo. Three, two, one. Great. Uh, and the glitch will apply to the overlay. There's not a lot of movement obviously happening here, but um, you can still do this even with a photo if you wanted to. Um, see, there's like a little bit of flickering of stuff. It's a little not as pronounced, I, I guess, as, as with a burst, but in case you're curious, you can do those things. Uh, let's get a little bit more creative and just keep moving along here through this. Um, so we're going to play with a little bit more of the filter features. Um, so let's play with our color option. So you can change these colors up and I have some hex codes I'm going to put in here so that we can get some specific to the artwork that I have. So 16082C, got that purple. Let's make it a little bit brighter. And I got another one here, FFB749. And then we're going to do the last one here, this pink E40C87. Bam. And let's turn this up a little bit. OK, perfect. And so I chose these colors because they match our 80s space one here. So let's see how this one turns out. Again, you can just keep playing with this as much as you want to. So uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Kind of depends on the effect you're going for. I got lots of lasers going on here because apparently in the 80s, that's what we thought the future was going to be was lasers and space and a little bit of Miami or something. OK, this is loading up more. OK, cool. And you can see like that pink and purple here. Uh, I like it. I think that's kind of fun. Uh, Again, you can also just turn off, like sometimes we'll do this where I just turn off the glitches entirely because I just want to see the color trails. Um, so let's see what that looks like here. I'm going to turn off all the glitches, hit OK, hit animate, hit space again. Here we go. We're going to make another one. You ready? Three, two, one, boom. Great. It's going to process that thing all over again. If you're enjoying this, um, feel free to like and subscribe to our videos.
because the more subscribers we get, the better. And I guess we know that we're doing a good job. Uh, cool. See, there's no glitches. It's just the color trails now, which is also really fun. Um, yeah, another great way to uh, add a little bit of flair to your designs. Now let's do let's do a horror kind of glitch. So I'm going to change up. I'm going to add the glitches back in. So I'm going to let's make them a lot. So let's say let's make this first one 15. Let's make glitch two like 25 because I really like that jagged distortion. And we'll do glitch three for 10. I'm going to change these colors uh, to this new hex code 44BB63. If you're curious how I got these, I got them in Photoshop when I was designing the uh, graphic I made. And then I'm going to change this other one to, let's make this one kind of like a lighter, but no, not that one. Oops, 44BB63. That one stays there. Let's get this for four. PB63. Maybe a little bit more gray. And I'm going to put that thing in there. 144 PB63. Um, maybe a little bit darker here. Okay. Happy with those colors. We got our glitches all set up. So I made this like kind of creepy distortion one. Oh, and I, before I show you that, I'm going to show you what I did. You can, like I said earlier, you can combine these effects with different filters. So I made my own lookup table filter for this horror one so that it looked like it was like on some sort of strange green and black and white, um, I don't know, like camera in the woods, kind of like the ring and I added some scan line overlay to it, and then I combined it with the glitch filter. You can also do that too, which is pretty neat. Uh, so we're gonna do this horror glitch filter right here, except, all right, we're gonna do something really creepy, okay? Amber's gonna be really creepy, so just buckle up. Here we go, three, two, one. And don't laugh because that's not creepy. There we go, perfect. So it's gonna process our uh, our filter here again on top. And again, you can see that green and white and black lookup table filter I made in Photoshop. If you wanna know how I made that, let us know that you're interested and I will put that in uh, another uh, one of these tutorials. But yeah, I like this, this is super cool. Like it looks messed up. It's like, this would be a great one to do for Halloween. Uh, it's very simple. Um, and it's, it's like, it takes only a few seconds here to process. So big fan of the glitch filters. I think they're underutilized and I wanted y'all to know about them, which is why I put this together today. Um, I think that's all I have to say about glitch filters. Um, if you all have questions about them, feel free to chime in in the comments and we'll always answer your questions. You can also reach out to us, uh, our support team at support dot lafotoparty.com or support at lafotoparty.com you can email them or call us we uh we you know try to be as available and accommodating as as, as we can be when it comes to our software and hardware so thanks so much for joining us today um thank you amber for being uh an awesome uh, uh volunteer uh for our uh, pv software and yeah we look forward to seeing you next time. So take care. Bye.